John, race three of the afternoon on Sunday. You've got three runners. If we may start with, with Beauty Tycoon, he's been doing a really good job at Happy Valley, this horse. He's done well, hasn't he? He's, he's been very consistent lately, and uh, he's eventually he, he's showed his talent on the racetrack. Goes up in, now that he's in class two, I've given him a little bit of time between class three and class two to, before he, to get him a little bit stronger and hopefully that he um, can run well now that he's had some more time to, to get used to it. But his previous trial, his last trial was quite sound <clears throat> and he looks like he's ready to go. Was Karis Teton happy with the trial? I mean, he, he kept company with some really nice ones in that trial as well. Yeah, he was. He's, he trialled nicely and he likes to run free and uh, he showed uh, his ability that day and he looked like he was happy to be there. So I think we go back to the races and, um, and see how he measures up in this grade. You've also got two other runners in the race. Um, uh, Power Kip, probably the, the, the next best of them. I mean, his run last time was, was full of merit and he's going up in trip once again. He's, he's remarkably consistent, isn't he? And he's, he seems to be quite a diligent racehorse. He wants to do his job every day. Um, he probably gets back a little bit in, in this uh, style of race where he's somewhat disadvantaged, but that's, his, that's the way he does things. And um, you couldn't deny his character. He just, he's there to try and win his races uh, every time he goes around. You'd have a good handle on the form. Ping High Galaxy was <coughs> second in the race. He ran third in last time, and obviously he's done a good job since as well. Yeah, they're, they're classy races, those races that... Ping High Galaxy and uh, Power Cap have been running and they're tough horses and fast horses. So, uh, yeah, the form's sound. You've also got Toronado Phantom, just a line on him. He, he uh, potentially might look a little bit outclassed in a race like this. Yeah, you'd think so, but he, he, he's going to have a, a light weight and um, he's going to be able to take advantage of the pressure of the race because he doesn't won't get involved in that. So he'll be... Um, pretty comfortable the first three furlongs and hopefully he'll rattle off um, the final section. I think um, you know he's, he's capable of, of getting some prize money but uh, uh, yeah the class two races might prove a little bit too tough for him. So th three very strong chances in the race would you say probably Beauty Tycoon would be the one sort of pick of the bunch? Well he's, the, the, he's had a break that's the only thing the, the reservation would be he hasn't been to the races for a while. Um, power probably tougher at this point. Harry, trust me, is a horse who went um, very close to winning for you last time out. You ride him again on, on Sunday. Um, he did a good job last time. He did. We were only narrowly denied, but nonetheless, it was a, a big performance. Um, I was expecting a good run, and, and, he, and he delivered. So, you know, we're dr not drawn ideally um, on Sunday, but... Uh, you know, he's in good form and hopefully he can back up with another good run. He produced another good run two starts ago from a, a similar sort of draw. So he's obviously able to, to run those races when, when drawn out wide. Um, just going into the race in your mind, I mean, he has led in the past with a, a distinct lack of pace. Is that potentially an option from a wide draw? I think it probably is. You know, he, he is quick enough, I think, to get there. Um, with, with the lack of pace in the race so that's definitely an option just to go forward and try and keep things simple I think um, you know being drawn 12 we could easily end up too far off the pace and having too much to do he is a course and distance winner on a couple of occasions as well so conditions are tailor-made for him yeah this is his absolute ideal um, in all aspects so uh, he's certainly coming into the race uh, with a few ticks outside of this race uh, Harry you are not necessarily a part player in the, the Stewards Cup because you're riding a, a two-time Group 1 winner in the shape of Russian Emperor. Um, how excited are you about jumping on board him? Well, really excited, you know, just to be part of this race, which is a massive match-up. Um, it's fantastic and, and to get on a, such a good horse is, is fantastic. So, you know, it's probably less than his ideal distance, um, but uh, there should, hopefully Zach won't go too steady in front and... Um, you know, there's, there's no reason why he won't run a big race. Did you get a good feel off him in the in the trial? Yeah, I mean, it was only a thousand metre trial, so naturally um, he was slightly run off his peak, but he finished nicely, galloped through the line very well and gave me a good feel. That's great to be a part of and, and great to ride a horse like him, I'm sure. I mean, we wish you very well. Thank you very much. Lyle, satirical glory is uh, one of your rides on Sunday afternoon. Interesting runner, given that he's, he's trying the all-weather for the first time. Yeah, well, he's trialled up um, pretty good in the all-weather track, so um, we're quite confident that he should 
uh, adapt to it and, and give a good performance. That trial last time, he, he looked good in that. Were you pretty happy with the way he handled the surface? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've done a lot of work with him actually from day one when he, when he came into Mr. Hayes' yard. And um, he, he's quite a, a difficult horse that he can get on his toes a bit and he can also um, be a bit strong. Um, however, he's improved as the weeks have gone on and with the racing under his belt. Two trials back, he trialled really well under Keith Young, and I was happy again last time, so looking forward to it. Last time out, I mean, early in the early part, you did look at Payne's to try and get that bit of cover, and he was a bit lit up. Were you impressed with the way that he was able to see out the race? Yeah, I was. Um, he, like I said, it's not the fact that he's necessarily very strong. He can be quite mildly at the same time, um, so it's just a bit of a balancing act. You know, of course, you want to get him just to be as settled as, as he can, whether that's going um, right forward or or taking a seat, it doesn't really matter. It's more about the horse in the comfort zone. He had a couple of, uh, well, a few really nice four-year-olds that will be lining up in the classic mile behind him last time, so that form certainly reads well for a race of this nature. Yeah, I think um, that was a bit of an upset result. However, he, he got into a good position um, and the tempo of the race suited um, from the spot he was in and he was able to stay on strongly to the line. So like you say, that form um, will be pretty decent and uh, he's got to live up to that now. Anytime I get to jump on his back, it's always enjoyable and obviously there's been a lot of talk around it. Um, you know, it's a showdown, so let's just hope that each of the horses get their chance and they, they should in this small field as well. Um, and let's hope that it goes down to the last 50 metres because you know, we, we want it to be exciting and you know, all three of them are in good form. Um, so yeah, we look forward to it. Before we touch more on the, the aspect of the race, etc., his recent trial, he, he looked very good in that. Were you happy? Did that go to plan and fully what you expected from him? Yeah, he just does the same thing every time he trials now. He, he stands in the gates quite good, he begins well, he just goes along at his own speed um, and does what he has to do. So, you know, as long as his action feels good and he pulls up well, that's uh, all we need to see, and, and that was the case. I can sense a, a wry grin, Zach, when you talk about this horse. He clearly means a bit to you. Um, how much do you get a kick out of the whole preparation and the lead-up to, to something like this? Because, I mean, you are a, a big-time, you know, athlete, if you will, and, you know, this is, this is your stage, and, and it's a big stage. Well, this is what we do it for, right? We want to ride these good horses in these big races, and especially when we, we're faced with some challenges, and we, I have two strong challenges to, to come at me. Um, you know, I don't know who's going to come out on top. Yeah. You know, a, a small little thing that happens at some stage of the race might be the defining moment for the result. So um, we all have to be on our game. Um, more importantly, all the horses look like they're in good form and they're fit. Um, they're still early on in their preparations, so none of them are going to be over the top um, and we just hope it's going to be a good race. Vincent Golden 60 uh, returns to action this Sunday. Obviously a huge race, a huge day, the Stewards Cup, a, a race that you and he have, have got history in, of course. Uh, firstly, how is the horse in preparation for this big race? Yeah, um, it felt really good yesterday morning on the turf. Uh, you know, very light on his feet again, and, you know, he very smooth, did everything well, uh, pulled up very well, uh, so... Yeah, I think he's ready again for, for the group ones. In contrast to his all-weather trial and his <coughs> turf gallop, were you, were you happy with the gallop and the trial, or, or were you happy with the trial as well? I'm happy with the trial as well. Uh, you know, everything went smooth, so I uh, had to work him a little, of course, uh, that day. And the turf, I'm even, you know, happier uh, that how, how he felt. So. A lot's been made, Vincent, of course, of you know the battle of the big three, if you will, the tempo of this race. We, we look, we know as if we've got a, a, the confirmed leader in the shape of, of California Spangle. Where do you see you and your horse settling? Do, do you ride him much like a, a champion's mile and a bit closer, or is that just a given, mm. given the size of the field, perhaps? Yeah, wherever he is comfortable. Uh, you know, he's, he's now very relaxed. He also jumped well and he also has the speed if I need to be, uh, if I want him to be, and uh, you know, very likely uh, be behind the pace uh, between three to five would be ideal. Uh, you know, not too far back, obviously. Uh, but 
Yeah, where is comfortable is the most important thing. It's going to be a uh, massive uh, weekend. Uh, three, three very good horses uh, crushing each, each another. And uh, yeah, like you say, I'm just uh, so uh, grateful to be able to ride this horse again and uh, just looking forward to the race now. Uh, how has he felt, Karis, in the morning and in his trial? Have you, have you felt him improve or is he just the same quality horse that you've always known him to be? He, you know, he's a, he's, he's a horse that after every trial or every workout, he gets, uh, I mean, physically he improves and you can feel that. Um, so he, after each and every work I've been doing on him, I've been working every morning. So, yeah, I've been feeling, feeling how, how he's improving towards, uh, towards his race, especially after a trial. Um, after, after his trial, you can feel it wakes him up and gets his mind uh, all ready. And just finally, Karis, in a perfect scenario, how does this race pan out for you and Romantic Warrior in your mind going into this, this race? We, well, we, we, we're drawn next to, to, to California Spangle and he's usually uh, pretty handy. So, you know, we, we'll let him come out and, uh, you know, we'll either, either follow him or maybe be one back or two back. Uh, you know, we, like I said, I just want to go out there and ride, ride the race uh, to suit the host and... Uh, uh, you know, this horse, he, he's going to put himself in a position where he wants to be and he's going to take it on from there. Zach Purton, packing treadmill is your ride in this year's Classic Marla race that uh, arguably, or well, not arguably, but um, uniquely has, has eluded you down through the years. Um, what brought you to the decision to, to ride this horse over any other? So historically, um, I've always tried to pick the horse early that I think can be best placed to win the derby. Uh, and to do that, sometimes you've got to sacrifice being competitive in the Classic Mile because it's going to be a little bit sharp and a little bit short for that horse. Um, and that's just the price that I've had to pay. So this year I thought I might approach it a little bit differently and just try and find the horse I thought was probably better suited um, for this race and then worry about the other two legs of it afterwards. So um, that, over a period of time, uh, I've been on and off a number of horses uh, that have raced over different distances and I don't know, I'd, I've sort of just come to the point where I thought this horse was, was the best one I thought for this race. So uh, here we are, rightly or wrongly, we're going to find out. Um, I've drawn a bit awkward, so it's not going to be ideal. I've got a, a few runners inside me that also have speed. So if they make me to work, I'll Obviously, my horse will be vulnerable, and if I can't get in, he's not going to run the trip anyway. So we need some luck, um, but the horse is in good order. He continues to work well. He's a gentleman to do anything with. He's probably the most placid horse here in Hong Kong. He, he just does exactly what you want him to do all the time. He relaxes beautifully. He's got a good turn of foot. He's got a good will to win. Um, but this is a, it's a strong test for him, um, and he's, he's going to need things to go his way to, to be a chance. John, this year's Classic Mile has produced a, a really decent looking field. Um, you've got a couple of runners in the race. Um, if we could start with, with Sweet County, you've got Ryan Moore um, coming over to ride him. Um, that obviously one plus, but he comes into the race in good form as well. Seems like he's in good form. He's quite consistent and solid. He's been beaten twice in his six starts. Um, both times with uh, uh, some excuse, but um, yeah, he's a, he's a beautiful animal. He's got a very good temperament. Uh, he's well well built, and um, he seems at this point to be trouble free. So um, uh, his trial the other morning, he showed that um, he had a bit of a spring in his step, and he was quite uh, happy to be there. He had a month between runs uh, last time, and uh, that might be might have been sort of telling in the finish. Uh, the winner carried like 25 pound less than him. So um, I thought the run was sound coming back uh, 200 metres. You and Ryan have, have got history in this race. Um, uh, was there ever a, a, a potential choice for Ryan to ride either this guy or Tuchel who would get on to shortly or was he always sort of penciled in for this? No, he was well, penciled in for this horse actually because he saw him win on International Day the 1800 and I think he was a bit taken by that uh, as to the future, he could run the 2000. And um, you're right, Tuchel's come on the scene, but Tuchel's going to have a few friends that are going to come on the scene late, and um, he's one of them. 
just on to call Luke Curry is going to take the ride, a, a cracking ride for, for Luke to pick up. Um, that performance last time, John, was a, a, a real standout. I mean, to get him back from, from a few little niggling injuries to, to do what he did, that must have pleased you no, no end. It was very pleasing. I mean, you could see in the parade ring, it was quite obvious that he wanted to be there and he was going to run well, you know. Um, he just was um, sort of bounding with good health and enthusiasm. <clears throat> he he travelled three wide facing the breeze, but he got comfortable uh, in that class. He was he was uh, comfortable with it, and he was able to to finish off quickly. There was horses coming at him in the finish, but he had a margin enough to win the race. I mean, it was probably an expectable performance from him. Um, he was well found in the market, and uh, he's done the job. Two weeks after that is a little bit soon mm. f to come back and, and have an outstanding run and then back him up in 14 days. A little bit soon, but uh, options for him going forward uh, weren't particularly attractive. So um, I thought he might as well run against uh, these horses in his same age and hope that um, his quality will, will help him run well. I guess the, the form out of that race as well, John, both uh, Mr Ascendancy and Beauty Live have won since, so uh, for all this is a much tougher ask, the, the form's certainly right up there. Well, it's very encouraging, that, that, that form line, and uh, as you say, they, they run really well, those two horses, and um, they proved that it wasn't an easy race. So, um, yeah, there's plenty of horses coming through the classes and uh, that, are, that are going to, uh, you know, show up in the next two months and uh, uh, Tuchel's one of them.